Boy, I wonder what will be this week. Well, that didn't work. We're still in the green background. Wonder why that happened. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I've got for you something that may not show up very well on the scenery. Today, we have Green River. Green River, wow. Green River, I'll make sure to hold it in front of me so it doesn't uh, freak out as much. Is uh, definitely going to be very difficult to edit around, but I'm sure my editor will find a way because he is a very smart man and I love him. Aww. Green River is owned by the Sprecher Brewing Company, which you will see right here. And it also was not originally made by the Sprecher Brewing Company. In fact, here's a short excerpt on its history. It was created in 1916 in Davenport, Iowa by Richard C. Jones, who owned a local confectionery shop. In 1919, Jones sold his recipe to the Schoenhoff and Eidelweiss Brewing Company of Chicago. And uh, prior to the, uh, ni prior to 1920, the brewery produced the popular Eidelweiss beer. But once, once Prohibition hit, they had to make something else in order to survive. And Green River happened to be right there for them. This particular beverage also apparently inspired the name of the CCR, Creedence Clearwater Revival song, Green River, and the name, uh, and the name of the album, Green River. This is certainly a staple of the Midwest soda scene, and the color of this particular beverage is called chartreuse green. This may be fine like wine, but this ain't no amphora. Let's go ahead and get the open and the pour on the microphone and the camera. No. Oh. Oh. I had the microphone off the entire time. Well, if you didn't hear the regular audio there, that's because I accidentally had the microphone turned off the entire time. This certainly is a heinous green. And it reeks of lime. Oh yeah, that's, that's the flavor it says on it. It's zesty lime soda with a hint of lemon. Great. Mmm, okay. Well, you know what? It suddenly smells less and less of lime. Maybe it's just the Sharpie that's on this that's doing it, but... The color is a shocking green that I wouldn't recommend anybody drink. But uh, you know what? I'm going to be the one to drink it. I'm going to tell you if it's worth drinking all this green. Green? Hmm. Green River Soda. Well, that certainly tastes like what someone thinks a lime tastes like. I want you to go to a grocery store and I want you to get lime sherbet sherbet sorbet whatever the hell melt it actually sorbet might be better because that's shape that's like shaved ice melt it drink that you've got this it is very much a fake lime flavor that being said it's not bad I happen to really enjoy the flavor of Fake, the flavor of the flavor of fake fruits, and this is pleasant. A little refreshing. I can see this being very nice on maybe a maybe a kind of warm day, not particularly hot, not particularly warm or humid or anything. Just a generally kind of pleasant day. Oh no, it's turning me green. Ah! There we go. That's more than half of it. Well, I tell you what, that ain't bad. 
It's a pretty standard fake lime soda. It's a pr it's pretty standard for uh, as far as fake lime flavoring goes. And that being said, it's not bad at all. It's not bad. Not to me, at least, who enjoys the fa the flavor of imitation, the imitation flavors of of uh, of fruit, not fruit, but fruit. Fruit with two O's, no U, no I T. I mean, there is a T. Fruit. Fruit. You know, the past few ones I've been trying have been kind of standard, kind of boring, you know? And this isn't necessarily boring, I mean, it's just kind of standard. How I would imagine a, a soda flavored as fake lime would taste. Artificially flavored to taste like lime would taste. Maybe with just a hint of lemon, because that's what it says, it's just with a hint of lemon. Honestly, your soda is just fine as just lime. And you're just lying if you think that lemon won't leaden or deaden your bev with sedentary flavors. So do yourself a favor and save your syrup for a potation that'll be your second recommendation and save your creme de la creme for a better occasion. See, Green River gets a 5 out of 10 because I know where it's been. It may be lakes and streams, but it just ain't the cream. If you enjoyed the video, then leave a like down below. Then subscribe for a ride so my uploads won't hide. And be sure to let me know what will be next on the show. I thank you all again for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye